everyone. This is your girl, Rosita Cooper, and we're on Living Your Dreams with Rosita. Today, my special guest is Cheryl Cooley with the legendary group Climax. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being on the show. I really, really appreciate you. You know, y'all was one of my idols growing up. So it's like amazing for me to be sitting here right now talking to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so I want you to give the audience a little bit about yourself, the ones that doesn't know you. I know once you start telling your story and stuff, they're going to be like, oh, wow. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm the lead guitarist for the all-female band Climax, noted for the song Meeting in the Ladies' Room, I Miss You, and the Men All Fall. Uh, I've, uh, you know, been uh, touring with the band uh, since conception, and even as of today, I'm still uh, expressing the legacy and touring now. Uh, you know, I, I started guitar when I was 11, <laughs> and uh, uh, the way that happened was, for some reason, my, uh, my mother and my father always had a, a toy guitar for me under the Christmas tree every other, every other year. And uh, one day I was kind of tinkering with it. And my sister said, hey, why don't we get Cheryl some guitar lessons? And so uh, they started getting the uh, private lessons for me. And I studied in school and got a college degree in commercial music. And uh, I always wanted to, uh, you know, I guess be a star, be, you know, yeah. uh, in a band and, and play guitar. That has always been my dream. Okay. So who came, who came up with the group? Who started the group? The climate? Oh, sure. Uh, actually, the group was uh, kind of conceived by an uh, idea with the uh, the drummer and the conga player at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were just kind of shooting ideas off of each other and started walking around and looking for female musicians and uh, asking other musicians and putting ads in paper and uh, uh, everybody in that uh, that the you know the audience sees as climax now. Everybody has a different story. I mean, uh, one girl we got from uh, the, a newspaper that sold refrigerators and cars. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, the lead vocalist, uh, she had originally auditioned for the group Rolls Royce, and they told her, you know, she sang too strong for their music, and, you know, try that group over there, Climax. They're looking for somebody. Yes. And uh, I was rehearsing with another band in the same rehearsal hall, and they just kind of walked in and said, hey, you don't want to play with this band. You want to play with our band. We have an all-female band called Climax. <laughs> nice, nice. So it basically was, fell into your lap. It was a blessing for you as well as you have been a blessing for them. Oh, because yeah. you was, as I was reading your bio, you was the one that actually took the uh, the demo to your uncle that was basically touring and stuff to get yeah. them heard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the way that happened, I happened to be working in a bank at the time, and I was telling my supervisor about this all-girl band I was playing in. And she said, hey, if you give me a demo tape and a picture, I'll give it to my uncle. He's the producer for Peebo Bryson. Uh, his name is Johnny Pate. And we took him uh, a demo tape and, and, a, and a picture, and he listened to the tape, and he, was, he didn't like it. Hmm. But let me sit and say when one door closes, that does I'm not mean the other door won't open. So he happened to be having lunch with um, the vice president of Solar Records, and he said, oh, I got this all-girl group with this demo tape. I don't think they're that good, but maybe you can do something with it. Well, she heard the idea, all-female band, and she just said, that's a great idea. And she took the tape, and she took it to the uh, president of Solar Records, uh, Dick Griffey at the time, and uh, they signed us up immediately. And I'm going to say, you know, we actually had a great uh, almost, what, eight to ten year uh, contract with Solar. You know, they, it was a, a great company to be signed to. Nice, nice. And your song, uh, what was that song uh, you wrote Never on the day? Never Underestimate the Power of a Woman. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. That was our first single, yeah. Uh, I actually wrote the music to that. And, you know, that kind of set uh, an idea for, you know, Climax to kind of be, uh, you know, an inspiration to, you know, not only uh, female musicians, but women of all, all uh, you know, uh, uh, categories and, um, you know, careers. Okay. Uh, and, you know, it just never underestimate the power of women. I mean, women have so many different careers and so many roles in society. And it's just meant to uh, remind everyone, never underestimate the power. Exactly. Exactly. And that's awesome that you was even thinking on that level at such a young age because oh, you were a teenager when you wrote that. Yeah. You know, to be on a certain, a, a woman level. 
Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so how many original members are in the band right now? Well, actually, I'm the only original member right now. I mean, I'm continuing on the legacy. I have a bunch of great female musicians on stage with me. They're helping me to continue on the legacy because there's a lot of people out there that never got a chance to see uh, Climax perform live. Is that? Uh, we have a lot of new fans. You know, when they see us all up on stage, like, wow, you know, that's, that's a great idea, all female band. And then when they hear the songs, you know, meeting in the ladies' room and I Miss You and the Men All Pause, then they really understand the whole legacy of Climax and what we're trying to portray. Oh, wow. And see, like I said, I grew up on it. So when, <laughs> when the, one of my friends on Facebook, he had posted, he had posted a post of y'all performing and he oh, tagged wow. me in it. And, oh. uh, yeah. And so I was like, wait a minute, that's climax. <laughs> and I know you see the post because I had tagged your day. I was like, I got to interview you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, you know. I appreciate you. Yeah, we, you know, I really believe that, you know, sometimes just being on stage and, and seeing us up on up there using the same kind of energy a male band would have up there. And, you know, we're not missing a step. We're, we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do as professional musicians. And it's awesome for me that I'm inspiring someone because that will inspire someone else. And it's like... <laughs> When I see people excited to see me. I'm as excited to see them excited to see me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you know, the thing about the female band and stuff, it, it is so awesome because a lot of people say that a lot of females can't work together. So y'all showing that to differ with that, you know, the statement and stuff that females cannot work together because y'all done made hits after hits after hits and still doing it. You know, and sending and being an awesome example for other women to come because women are awesome. We're awesome at what we do. And a lot of times we get pushed to the side because, and, and I'm gonna say, a man ego. You know what I'm saying? But but one thing I loved about Prince, Prince loved female band members. Yeah. He was one of those people that loved the female drummer and the female guitarist yeah. and stuff. And, and, and people still talk about the members in his band. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I got you that guitar on your shoulder, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So what you going to play for us today on Living Your Dreams or Rosita? Oh, God. Well, you know, it, it, it's... I, I know you want me to play a climax song, but what's interesting is that, you know, I really, it's really the whole band. When the whole band gets together, and then it makes sense when I'm, you know, playing uh, my guitar part. But I'm going to just play a little bit of what I usually play on meeting in the ladies' room, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember about the whole band, so it's like, oh, okay. But anyway. Okay, but sing it too. Sing it with it. <laughs> Meeting in the ladies' room. I'll be back real soon. Meeting in the ladies' room. I'll be back real soon. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, it's going in and out, but that's okay. I got the first part, so shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, y'all. Y'all know how I do it on Living Your Dreams with Rosita. The legend Cheryl Cooler just played Meeting in the Ladies' Room on Living Your Dreams with Rosita. Now, that's what's up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so, you, on Living Your Dreams with Rosita, there's a testimonial part. And this is to inspire people to not give up on their dreams or to follow their dreams. You know, because a lot of people, they tend to get right at their breaking point. And then just because bad things are happening, they give up and not knowing that their breakthrough is right around the corner. So give us a time to where. Yeah, that, that's really almost a story of my life. Um, uh, being a, a female guitarist, especially during the time when Climax first started, it was not really accepted for women to be in a band. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had played in several different uh, cover bands, as they call it, or club bands. Uh, but a lot of times, 
they wouldn't let me play or they wouldn't let me audition because it's like, well, you know, you're a girl, you're not going to be able to play as well, you know, but then when I would be given a chance, then more than likely I would get the gigs. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that didn't discourage me because I always raised my hand and saying I was too stupid to know I was supposed to fail. Oh. <laughs> and sometimes a person's naivety, you know, kind of puts them in situations where they, you know, all they know is that they want to succeed. The mm -hmm. one thing that you should always stand going to be naysayers. They're not going to believe in you, but it's really their own fear. It's not the fear that you can't do it, but it's the fear that they don't want to see or, or hear you talk about you fail. So it's basically their insecurity. It has nothing to do with you. All you have to do is just step out on faith, step out on your talent. I mean, if you have a talent to paint rocks, paint rocks, that's your passion, do it. No matter what somebody else says, no matter what Uncle George says, no matter what Cousin Jesse says, if you have a passion to make clothes, paint art, play music, whatever it is that you have, don't let someone else discourage you because it is what has been gifted to you to express to the world. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. And those are inspirational words too. So, <laughs> you know, so what do y'all have coming up next? I know this virus thing going on and stuff. So are y'all still uh, on the road or doing shows and stuff right now during the virus? Or is y'all waiting to start back your tour up after the virus? Well, actually, it's interesting because uh, we had some shows lined up that were going to start in March, and March mm -hmm. is actually when everything uh, got shut down. Mm -hmm. So we haven't performed this year at all. However, mm -hmm. we do have a, a pay-per-view uh, live concert scheduled for uh, <clears throat> September 12th, mm -hmm. uh, and you know that, that information is actually on our uh, website, Climax.com, okay. uh, but you can you know, buy tickets to be, actually be able to see the concert online. Uh, September 12th. Uh, I think it's, uh, ooh, I'm going to have to make, take a sneak peek on my, my website here. Yeah. It's actually um, uh, 5 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Central, and 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. Uh, so just check that out. Uh, it's going to be a pay-per-view concert with Confunction, Lakeside, Yarbrough's and Peoples, uh, and of course Climax, and also uh, Bruce Williamson is going to MC it. So just check it out on the website. And also we're going to do another pay-per-view uh, October 17th for uh, Women's Breast Cancer Awareness. Okay. And all the proceeds for that, or the majority of proceeds, blah, the, uh, the, the majority of the proceeds from that is going to go to the uh, cancer research and, uh, you know, uh, health awareness. So, you know, just check it out. Climax, Climax.com. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No. Climax.com. Climax.com. Exactly. Just go to the website uh, and you can uh, purchase the tickets there and find out all the information there. Uh, you know, we're just grateful to be able to continue to perform live, even if it means the, the live audience isn't there, but, you know, the cameras will be there to, for everybody to really see and witness uh, our concert. It'll give us a chance to play in areas that we haven't gotten to yet. So it's really exciting that this is going to happen. Okay, awesome. awesome. So give them your social media site. So I know you're on Facebook. They, uh, they can actually friend you as, you know, as a friend, a real friend, <laughs> you know, some people, they just have their fan pages. You can, yeah. you can actually friend her as a real friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, our, our social media, uh, again, is on Climax.com. I'm on Facebook uh, slash Climax Music. And also you can check out my own page, which is Cheryl.unruly.com. Uh, okay. We're on Twitter slash Climax. Uh, we're on, uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, um, Instagram. Uh, Instagram, yeah, Climax yeah. Music. And, uh, yeah, I mean, all those uh, uh, social media are right there on the website. Uh, okay. And also uh, YouTube slash uh, Climax Music. We're, we're on there, too. Uh, a lot of our videos are there that you, that you saw. So, you know, um, please, uh, I also invite your, your viewers to uh, uh, sign up for our, our mailing list. We have a mailing list there on the website. Please sign up for it, and, you know, you'll always get a, a, a notice as to where and when we're going to play. Okay, so, you know, one day I actually want to interview the whole group. I want yeah. all of y'all together. <laughs> So we're going to have to make that happen. I'm going to interview the whole group one day. 
And then, oh, uh, yeah. so give them something, you know, anything else you want to add to this? Add to this, the, you know, any information and stuff that, or anything that you want to share? Yeah, you know, I really appreciate, uh, you know, you for having me on the show. I appreciate the fans still loving Climax music. I mean, we're talking about some music that's been around for a while. And yeah. I'm really so appreciative that the fans still want to hear it, still want to come see Climax music live. Uh, I appreciate all the, the media exposure that you've given me. Uh, I mean, this this setup here is like, wow, I'm going to say And I get to play, you know, so. <laughs> Look, you sound like uh, running right here from the spinners. He was sitting there singing and playing his music. He said, Rosita, I like this. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, this is a time that we're learning things new. How to do exactly. things new. Exactly. And you know, you know that goes to say when they said things that's supposed to be for your bad. And then it's actually for your good. Because the yeah. thing is, I've been uh, having people on my list for over a year to interview. and But they was always on tour, so we couldn't really catch each other. And I was always on movie sets and doing different things. And, and so when the virus came along, then they started reaching out to me, uh, when I'm going to get my interview? Uh, when, when you want it? Look. <laughs> So it's an awesome thing, you know, it's bad about the virus, but, you know, it's all about turning something that's supposed to be negative into a positive thing. Exactly. You know, so, and I really, really appreciate you being on the show. And my mom said hi. And, no, my mom. <laughs> and I love you to death. I've been loving you since I was young, listening to your music, and it's such an honor to have you on my show. And I will be meeting you in person one day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're going to claim that. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. So I want you to close this with some inspirational words. Oh, gosh. Um, um, if every morning when you look in the mirror, and you see that person that survived all the things that were negatively thrown at you, you've won the game already. Mm. Because you're still alive, you're still breathing, you still got another chance, and no matter what anybody thinks negatively about you, you always have one more chance to prove them wrong. Mm. All right, man. <laughs> and on that note, I just want to say, y'all have been watching Living Your Dreams with Rosita with Rosita Cooper and the legend Cheryl Cooley from the group Climax. Until next time, let no one in that to stop you from following your dreams. Peace and love, peace and blessings. Peace.